all towns have something to be proud of. In Andalusia, they are proud of their olives, olive oil, ham, turkey, and also molletes. What's a mollete? A mollete in Andalusia is a little, small, soft bread roll that's lightly toasted and enjoys breakfast. So, I'm wondering, a lot of them say, you know, that uh, their mollete is the best here. And uh, they often say, oh, you should try it here, you should try it there. So, I'm going to try that. Over the next few days, I'm going to try a different mollete every morning and see what they're like. I feel so European, sitting outside, um, little square, 11 o'clock in the morning, and having a sandwich and a coffee. <laughs> and so overall impression, um, it's delicious. It's um, nice and crispy on the outside, and on the inside, it's beautiful and soft, and it's just, it's very, very enjoyable. Can't see myself having, having it seven days a week. Apparently, some people have it every morning. It's like a ritual, and. The other thing is, like, I'm wondering now, like, how are the others going to be any different? It kind of, t it kind of tastes like something that is um, going to taste the same everywhere else. So far, so good. It's up there with Abu Surya with that question. Uh, I had to wait a little bit. I was kind of standing at the bar and. Uh, Kind of ignoring me, like I mean, yeah, I don't look like a regular, but uh, Jesus, you know, I'm here to I'm here to pay for some food. Um, anyway, it's delicious. Um, again, olive oil, uh, but with this tomato sauce, it's tomato salsa, homemade apparently, and it's with crushed garlic, and you can really, really taste the garlic. With red and I, I really, really love garlic. I kind of I can have it on anything. So uh, yeah, I'll give these guys a two thumbs up. And uh, it's a good start to the day, so maybe next time I'll go I'll venture further into the city. So, like I said, good start to the day. Okay, so that was definitely up there with the others, without question. Beautifully toasted. Um, I've been told that uh, there is a certain window of toast in the oven, and it's just so crispy on the outside, and then you bite into it, and then it's so doughy and fluffy on the inside. Ah, you, you really just have to try it. You know, my description doesn't hardly do it justice. So, tomatoes, ham, and um, oil, olive oil, um, definitely, definitely up there. So, I'm going to put that number two. So this was my first mojete with that ham uh, here in Casa Carrillo and I just had it with a little bit of um, olive oil and tomato and I'm not gonna lie I kind of preferred the one yesterday there was a little bit more garlic in the other ones but, uh, overall it was, it was tasty um, but yeah at the moment I think Capsaria is, is ahead and Gloria is number two and then Carrillo I'm sorry and you're number three at the moment uh, it's still tasty still cheap and uh, I brought Catherine along as well today and uh, she also enjoyed it and uh, she's also holding the camera so shout out to Catherine, my friend, my colleague and uh, my mate. So unfortunately the acoustics in Nakamon moment weren't great so I decided to come up here and it's a little bit windy, so I hope um, hope I sound okay. So I know it's cliche to say save best to last, but uh, going by the opinions of people I asked before doing this video, I heard not come on quite a few times. So I decided, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll throw that at the end. And I'm happy I did because uh, the salmorejo, the uh, pata negra ham, and the olive oil, and beautifully toasted. It was it was definitely the best. So um, yeah, congrats uh, to Nakamon.
So, there you have it guys. I went out in search of my favourite Moyete and I found it. If you are interested in trying the Moyete for yourself, I do believe that uh, Ryanair's flights to Seville are starting up soon, so you're more than welcome to, to join me.